All right, guys. So on this video, we're going to learn about all admin notices hook. Uh, so in the previous video, we discussed the admin notices, and this is going to be very similar to that. It's uh, all admin notices hook. Okay. So we check. Um, so admin notices was displaying the uh, notices near the top of the admin pages in my previous video, as I discussed, and even this one is going to print the generic admin screen notices okay so it's also doing the same thing okay uh, so we'll take an example of that okay and we'll also learn that you know if you want to display some of the notices um, you know on specific admin pages how do we do that so we'll check that condition as well so both these hooks the hook that i discussed previously which was um, admin notices and the hook that I'm discussing now which is the all admin notices they go ahead and print the notice on all pages no matter which one you click on okay so let's take an example <clears throat> alright so as you can see that in this function what I'm doing is this is in my functions.php okay and uh, in this function uh, this is an add action and we are hooking to all admin notices hook with our custom function and we are just echoing out greetings from all admin notices that's the message that we are echoing out so we refresh the page you go to any page you go to all posts you go to add new you go to media you go to any page you'll be able to see the same notice okay and if you remember um, the admin notices said that you go ahead and include the class uh, specific from out of these classes and then you'll be able to get the proper formatting of that we can use that in this um, example as well so even for this we can go ahead and use that classes use those classes so we'll instead of just echoing it out we'll go ahead and define the class notice success uh, is dismissible which is the classes that are predefined and um, we're going to echo it out uh, translate this and done and echo it out so if you check you can see it's done and you, no matter which page you go on it's the same message you're going to get okay so whether you use admin notices or you use all admin notices you're going to get the same result see this same result okay Cool. Now let's say that we want to go ahead and uh, display some of the messages only on the add new page. Okay, so how do we do that? So I've written some function for that. So here what's happening is that uh, uh, I have gone ahead and um, defined a function called add action and I'm latching onto the hook which is load edit.php. Okay, so load edit.php. If you check, uh, basically runs when an administration menu page is loaded. So load edit.php is available in uh, admin.php, which is under WP admin. Okay, so if you check at this point, it is checking a condition if the pa uh, page now is equal to post.php which means if the user is on the post.php page then go ahead and define this hook which is load page.php okay so that's what's going to happen um, as you can see that the you know, user is on the uh, post page okay so basically at this point uh, you know this hook will be called calling the custom function so this custom function will be called and this is an anonymous function I have defined I have not given it a name you can do that in this manner as well but I suggest don't do it so let's give it a name <coughs> so display message Okay, and then we define our function. Which is we are prefixing it. 
namespacing it display message okay let's take this off So what's happening over here is that this is the add action. It is latching onto this load edit.php hook. So when the script reaches over here um, in the admin.php, it'll check if the user is on the post, uh, you know, post.php page. And um, if he is, then go ahead and, uh, you know, call the function that is attached to this hook. So in this case, it'll call our custom function. In this custom function, we are getting the screen object first. So get current screen function basically gets the screen object. So if you go on to codex and you know check what this function does, it gets the current screen object. Okay, and the reason why we require this uh, this object, the screen object, is so that we can get the ID and find out which page the user is on. So let's print out this uh, screen object and see, you know, what we're getting there. Screen echo. So we're just printing it out. Let's refresh the page. So you've got uh, this object. Obviously, you can't see it clearly. So what I've done is I've just copy pasted it onto my notes. And this is what we get. So this is an object, and these are the you know properties, key, and values. Uh, so what we're interested in is this value, this ID. Okay. So if you go and go back and check into our function, what we're doing over here. Let's get rid of this. <clears throat> what we're doing over here, we're checking that is a screen ID, which means the object screen and the property name ID. We're accessing the property name ID, value of this ID. If the value of this ID is equal to edit post, then do this. So basically check. So in our case, when I printed out, the value of the ID was edit post. Yeah. So this condition will become true. Then we are using the add action. Uh, we are hooking on to the all admin notices and we are calling this anonymous function. Don't use the anonymous function like I've done over here. Uh, this is just to save time at this moment. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and latch onto this hook uh, and go ahead and echo out these greeting on that page. Okay, so if we go back and check, we can see we have a greeting over here. But if you go into dashboard, we don't see that. If we go to comments, we don't see it. If we go to appearance, you won't see that. Okay, it's only going to appear on the posts page okay because we are putting the condition in fact it's going not going to appear even on the add new post not on categories not on tags all it's going to appear on is on the all post uh, page yeah right so so that's going to appear that and we also using another hook in admin footer to display a message at the bottom of this page you can see this is edit.php and that's what we're checking if the screen ID is equal to edit dot edit post then go ahead and you know display all these messages display this message at the top using uh, all admin notice hook and display this message at the bottom of that page if you want to know where is this hook define uh, all admin notices uh, you can go on to the WP admin admin header dot PHP and you can see that uh, this is defined here all admin notices okay so Prince generic admin screen notices and just right above that we also have the admin notices hook which prints the admin screen notices so think about it if you're going to use both the uh, hooks then if you're going to attach a function to admin notices and that will be displaced first as compared to if you have attached a function to all admin notices. So this gets executed first and then all the all admin notices. Okay. Cool.
All right, so I think uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave the comment, and I will go ahead and see you in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye.